So I'm here with Jenny Brover. She is our curator for Outsiders this evening. And um, I'm really excited to talk to her about the collection she's curated tonight. So Jenny, um, how did you feel about uh, the work that, that you put together tonight? And, and what are some of the pieces that are really speaking to you and, and the artists you enjoyed working with? We do have um, 12 artists tonight. Everyone comes from different backgrounds um, and different mediums. There's uh, two photographers, um, a lot of mixed media artists, sculpture and painting. And it's really tonight's theme that ties it all together. Um, I tried to, even with all the different kinds of mediums, I tried to keep a certain mood to the art. Um, I would say, the look of the art is a little dark and moody, um, which reflects a heavier theme, a more profound theme that people are going to uh, write about and speak about later on tonight. I'm here now with Catalina Erenguren. She is a member of JCTC's advisory board and um, is a big volunteer with JCTC. Tell me about what out, Outsiders or the idea of having our opener be about Outsiders. What does that mean to you? Well, I don't know if you know, but I am one of the artists here. Right. And exactly. um, I actually, that has been part of my life, being an outsider. When I was little, I moved uh, from one country to another in South America, and I went to an American school. So it was always being the outsider, regardless of if I was in school because I was a Latin or if I was a Latin because I was in an American school. Um, so it's always been part of my life and it's always really interesting to see pe people's perspectives of what being an outsider is really like. Um, because outsider be, can be so many different things for so many people. I'm here with Kathy Valim, and she is an artist from right here in Jersey City, and she has actually exhibited here before, and will be exhibiting again at the beginning of October for JCAST. And so I just wanted to find out from you just how you learned about JCTC and how long you've been supporting JCTC. I used to come to the art openings here, looking at art. And uh, last year I was invited by Lucy Roveto, who was curating the shows here, to participate and create an installation especially for this space which happened and so I was participating last year at JCAST and it was, I, I think it was really great. I was very happy to be part of it and when I did that installation and I was participating in the openings and other events, I got more and more engaged with the community around JCTC and I really learned more and more in depth about how this uh, institution works and how important is the role it plays in Jersey City's um, cultural life and I was very happy to hopefully I was able to add something to it. I'm here with Ariel Guidry who has been with JCTC for quite some time and has done many spectacular performances here. Pardon? Oh, those are yours? Oh, fantastic. Tonight is Outsiders, and I wanted to find out from you um, of the exhibition, what is speaking to you, and, and how you feel about the, the theme tonight. Oh, uh, I love seeing all, all of some of the best talent in Jersey City showcase their perspectives. Um, I do have to say, I uh, out of all the pieces, I'm quite partial to the one I'm in. <laughs> with of my course. family. Um, uh, Frank Ippolito has pieces oh. that are, um, are backlit pictures um, through, um, through a film. And what it shows is people on the outside looking in and they're never really being able to get a clear picture of what's in. And so they're left out. And it's, with what's going on in today's climate, with what's going on in American society, 
and the overall conversation, we're all understanding themes of loneliness and being outsiders. We're always feeling as though we're outsiders looking in into something that we're not allowed into. I'm here with Athena. She is one of our featured artists tonight, and you might recognize her piece because it was used to promote Outsiders, our, our themed event for the evening. So Athena, give us your full name. My name is Athena Toledo, but I go by, um, my Instagram is flora.athenarts, so if you can, so that's where the flora comes from. Awesome. Yeah. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your piece and how it informs the evening of Outsiders? Um, I feel like sometimes when you're um, dealing with things that are in yourself or relationships that are built that are kind of like weighing heavy in your heart, you kind of like retreat from like social situations and things to be home and to deal with those issues and to deal with those um, that heartache. So that's kind of what the piece embodies is being an outsider, dealing with toxicity and kind of like melting that all the way to, to return to like a certain kind of freedom. Yeah, so it's like in the middle of that process. I'm here with Lester, who is attending our event tonight. Thank you so much for attending Outsiders. Uh, tell us why you're here tonight. Sure, I'm here to support my friends like Athena Toledo, Mike McLean, also to just support artists here in general. It's always good to support local artists and I'm always here for it. And what do you think about our theme tonight, Outsiders? Does this speak to you somehow? And, and what, what did you think about the decision to base it around this theme? Um, I think the theme of Outsiders is a great, powerful theme because people in all levels of life do sometimes feel like they are an outsider and it's good to know that sometimes there are people around you who are there to support you and make you feel a part of something so that we're not always feeling like outsiders. Excellent. Thank you, Lester. Thanks for being here tonight and supporting the art. Thank you.